taking a look at the tail of the tape here for tonight's opening bout again. Hiroton 6-0, three knockouts. Sahota 2-0. Both of his previous matches coming earlier this year. Sahota two years older than Puritan. Michael Puritan has an inch advantage in height, two inches in reach advantage. And Puritan coming in at 222.8 pounds. He has weighed less than all but one opponent that he's faced in his pro career. Yep. Come on, come on, Eddie Claudio, the third man in the ring for this opening bout here on Broadway Boxing. Michael Puritan, 26 years of age out of Liege, Belgium. Touted European heavyweight prospect under the guidance of the Robles family. Earned a fifth round TKO over Jonathan Gruber at the Garden Theater in Detroit back on April the 15th. That was his U.S. debut. He wears the short, or the shorter white trunks with the black trim going down the side. Sahota, who earned a six round unanimous decision victory over Jesus Gutierrez Othon back in late August, with the longer white trunks with the black stripe. Pretty much the same trunks, just <laughs> different size. <laughs> yes. It's like we got a nice Belgium versus Canada. The World Cup is in full swing. This is like 80s NBA versus late 90s NBA <laughs> in terms of the trunks. Big smack along the ropes. This would appear to be a, a sort of a big step up for Sahota, but by hearing his corner over here, they are dialed in. They think they don't they don't feel that they are the B side at all. Hey, Sahota coming in at two and zero, trying to win his third straight fight to begin his pro career. Turned pro in late July, just four months ago. Has two fights under his belt. Both of them coming in to you, Juana, as he gets backed up by Piroton. Piroton is applying really good pressure so far. Early on, is on his front foot. He's throwing that jab Ooh. out there, and he's firing to the body and upstairs. He looks really sharp early on. Sahota eating a left Smart hand pressure. from Piroton moments ago. Smart pressure. Not reckless. Quick check right hand from Sahota coming out of the brief clench. They work back into the middle of the ring. Sohota trying to keep the distance at a minimum. Here it's on. Taller, heavyweight, has a lot of athleticism, works well on his feet. He did come in eight pounds lighter than his last fight, and I thought he looked weight appropriate in that last fight, if that makes sense. He was still very athletic. Do you think this is too light for him? Or do you like it? I, so far, I mean, as long as he can move around light on those feet. He's got ballerina feet. Yeah. <laughs> Work toward your strengths. The agility is one of them for Michael Pierrot. Piriton coming up empty with a right hand. Able to lay Sahota with a left hand to the body. It's a very nice body shot. Yeah, I was going to say the, the body work, right, is what's most impressive to me from Piriton, especially a fighter that what, has in his seventh professional fight. Sahota coming in with a counter. Piriton got stung a little bit. Piriton on the ropes. He's doing a good job. I think uh, Sahota's doing a good job of smothering Piriton's work. Here we go, round two. Piraton and Sohota. Oh, nice right hand from Sohota. I like to see Sohota step on the gas pedal a little bit. Had Piraton rocked or at least staggered towards the end of that first round, I'd like to see him maybe throw some more punches here in round two. Piraton has come up empty on left hooks. Sohota, I think he got Piraton's attention near the end of that first round. Oh. Trying to compound it here early on in the second. Staying busy. Throwing punches. Definitely not letting Piraton get comfortable. The thing with Sohota, he's, he's, he's not punching first. He's not going off first. He's reacting to what Piraton is doing. Maybe a natural born counter puncher, but I like to see him, you know, throw one, two. Something different, you know? Yeah. Sohota continuing to smother the 26 year old Belgian. Piraton 
using the jab more here in the second Ooh. round. Snaps him Ooh. as Sahota continues to charge in. Two-punch combo to the body from Puritan. Again, pumping that left hand behind the right elbow of Sahota. It's almost as if Puritan has to pivot and throw the body shots because he's being smothered so much. But even when they say he's being smothered, when Sahota is in range right here, he's not letting his hands go enough. You got him right there in range, but he's just kind of shelling up. You know, touch him a little bit. Even if it doesn't land, just touch him. Sahota staying low, coming up. There's ooh, danger of a headbutt. Another left hand smacking the body of Sahota. He counters with a right hand to Puritan that lands. Puritan angling out and now working back to the middle of the ring. Sahota perhaps frustrating Puritan by continuing to come in and close in on that distance. Puritan hasn't been able to solve that equation yet. Yeah, I can't help but feeling that he, Puritan just is, does not look as sharp as he did when we saw him back in April in Detroit. You'll wonder if it's going to take a couple of these early rounds for him to get more comfortable, size up with the jab, take a more measured approach, or if this is going to be the way it's going to be for six rounds. Right. I think he looks pretty good. I mean, he's doing more than Sahota is, I think. I think that he's firing off that jab. He's showing different facets of his game. I see him fight off his back foot a little bit. Didn't see that in Detroit. But as I say that, he gets hit with another right hand towards the end of the round. And Sahota connecting. Puritan falling into the ropes. But again, Puritan trying to fight out with good body work. And again, the angling. Ooh. Close range right hand from Sahota as the seconds wind down here in the second round. Another check right hook from Sahota. The effective aggression maybe doesn't look aesthetically pleasing from Sahota, but it's still effective. Correct. As we begin things here in the third round, Michael Puritan in the short Ooh. white trunks, the red tape on the gloves. You Suit see how Sahota. I'm sorry. No problem. The larger white trunks. You see how Puritan is trying to create that distance. He's really trying to create that distance. And I think he'll be very successful if he, if he can attain it. Do it with more steady jab work, but there's also that lethal right hand Ooh. that Sohota has to be wary of. Sohota just threw a nice check hook off the ropes, which has kind of been his punch in this fight. Not the aggressor, counter puncher. That's, I think we've settled into that for Sohota. Catches him again with a counter right. I love starting fights off with heavyweights. Yeah. A fight card, I, if I was commissioner of boxing, I know that's not even the thing, the imaginary commissioner, I yeah. would say every <laughs> fight card must start with a heavyweight fight <laughs> and make it four or six rounds. Here it's in digging downstairs. Sohota holding on with that right hand. And by the way, that the fact that this is a six-rounder, not a four-rounder, is going to be critical based on how this is playing out. Puritan coming off a really hard-fought and hard-earned win over Jonathan Gruber, who proved to be really durable and a game opponent that really came to win back in April in Detroit. But Puritan was landing plenty of shots, eventually leading to the referee stepping in, waving it off. Gruber had an eight-week camp, came in undefeated, but I think the difference here is Gruber was six feet tall, and we got a six-foot-four opponent now. Puritan just one inch advantage in height with Suchan Sahota, who is aiming to hand Puritan his first ever defeat as a pro. Sahota continuing to come forward. Ooh. Right hand from Sahota. Puritan counters. And these two fighting at close range. Right hand to the body from Puritan. I know we're in a nice small ballroom today, but I gotta say, Sahota's corner. He's got a booming voice. He has a bigger, <laughs> big arena voice. He's the only voice you can hear. And that's a, a good thing if you're a fighter, getting that one voice, your guy, your trainer. Yep, yep. Sahota's, for the most part, been fighting with a little bit of a, of a hunch over. His head kind of leaning in a little bit, especially when they're at close range. Here, this is the, the distance that Puritan probably wants to keep this fight at. Yep. yep. Also, as you mentioned earlier, three three heavyweight fights tonight. This is an 18 by 18 ring. That is a very small ring for heavyweights. It's small. For nope. sure. We're going to have some big heavyweights. These two, <laughs> Stephen Shaw <laughs> later. Which is not enough. Right. You know, he's doing the better work for the majority of the rounds. Yep. Close fight, though. 
Start of round number four between Puritan and Sahota. This is Puritan's fourth straight six-round fight. Fighter out of Belgium. His mother born in West Africa, his father born in Belgium. Lands a couple of punches against Sahota here in the opening seconds of the fourth round. Yes. Has Sahota in a dangerous spot along the ropes. Right hand from Puritan. This is the range he wants, right here. And he's starting every combination with a jab, which is important. And that's how you, you know, make that range. It's not really uh, science here. It is a sweet science, but throw that jab out there. Puritan at, at, at range. Backing up, starting with that lead left. Coming in, there's the right cross. I, I love that. I love that he took that step backwards to create that range that he wants. Another check right hand for Puritan. He believes he is very fast on his feet, like we said before. Athletic for a heavyweight. He is comfortable moving inside and outside. There you see a couple of feints. And this is where that agility is showcased because it's needed to keep that distance. Two-punch combo from Puritan. Sahota closing in. Love two the body punch, work. Two punch yeah. combo, Puritan. Another sneaky body shot there from Puritan. Left hand to the body from Puritan. Sahota is going to want to stand in the foam booth. Oh, right there. Puritan is going to have to go to the body, and he's been doing it since the very first bell, and he's doing it very well in this round four. Yeah, here in the fourth round, the body shots sounding more punishing from yes. Puritan. Yes, yes. Continues to pump the right hand. Sahota with arguably his best punch of the fight there. When he throws that overhand right, it lands. He's landed it now in three of the four rounds, but it, it's just one punch, though. Follow it up, he can win a round. Little left hand from Puritan to the body. This is our opening bout here on Broadway Boxing back in Times Square. Six five Michael Puritan against the six four Suchan Sohota. And the referee letting them fight, which I like a lot too. You know, they're in close, uh, but he, he's for the most part letting them fight, letting them break naturally. Good job by the referee. Good right hand moments ago for Puritan. Again, left hand to the body. They're in close, but they're not holding. You know that they're they're kind of not clinching, not really holding. They're fighting out of it. As I say that, he breaks them up. Should be a little winded, but Sahota looks more winded, in my opinion. Fifth round between Puritan and Sahota. Puritan on the left of your screen right now. Sahota in the larger trunks. Puritan with one inch height advantage as he looks to improve to seven and zero. Oh. This is his New York City debut, just his second pro fight in the U.S. Fought a lot in Europe. Oh. Puritan sizing in. Good three-punch combo that sends Sahota on retreat. Yeah, when Puritan throws his combinations, they're very fluid and they're very crisp. Extended left hand from Sahota. Puritan comes back with a right cross. Now peppering him with that jab. Yep. This is exactly the fight Puritan needs to fight. He's gotten there. He's in total control now, it looks like. This is the distance right here as you see it. Mm -hmm. Closes in with the jab, left hand to the body. Sohota alongside the ropes. Right hand grazes the head of Sohota. Puritan said that he feels like he has the upper hand when it comes to speed versus large opponents. And here is a guy that basically his height. I love combo. the body work, man. The left hand to the body has been the bread and butter and arguably the most effective shot for Michael Puritan after the jab. Sahota is going to be very sore tomorrow. <laughs> yes, one day before Thanksgiving. Ooh. Another right hand from Sahota. One, one around. It lands. And again, Puritan fighting through it. 
So Hoda trying to put some punches together here in round five with a minute to go. Another right hand lands from Sahota. Whenever Sahota does come forward and does let his hands go, I like that Piraton fires back right away. Mm -hmm. Doesn't let him pile up any points. Ooh, oh, nice left counter there. left hand by Sahota. Haven't seen that left from Sahota all fight. And now Piraton stumbling a little bit back. Maybe lost his footing there. This is a good display in round five from Suchan Sahota. <laughs> Piraton not exactly out of the woods yet. Another counter left that lands flush on Piraton, but to your point, Dan, Piraton continues to throw. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with Piraton. Showing a lot of consistency, showing a lot of heart, mm -hmm. showing endurance. I love that they're starting right in the middle of the ring, too. Sixth and final round, 18 by 18 ring, not too much space to work with here. Not too many other places to go. The first fight, first of six tonight here on Broadway Boxing. Oh, nice sneaky uppercut there from Piraton. Piraton throughout this battle has started out each round relatively stronger than Sahota. Sahota, for the most part, is him able to turn on the action near the end of the round. But Piraton, where is it that was low? Eddie Claudio calling for the low blow. Sohota getting right back to work. He could have took some more time there. Yeah, right? Sixth round, tough, grueling fight. Props to him for getting right back in the phone booth. Piraton looking to battle here. Sohota's kept this distance. And that's been to his favor. We mentioned the more measured approach from Piraton, but it seems like here with the last round, Piraton saying, hey, if this is where we want to go in this final round, I'm ready to bang. So Sahota hits him low, not on, I mean, sorry, Piraton hits him low, not on purpose. And what does he do? He goes right, right back, back to, to the, the body. body. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's a good move. That's a veteran move for a guy with seven pro fights. In his seventh pro fight, I should say. Quality left hook moments Ooh. ago. Oh, that's a check left hand counter from Sahota that lands flush on Piraton. I think it's really impressive that Piraton is walking through some of the more accurate punches that have been thrown by Sahota. Yep, yep. Piraton's got Manny Robles in his corner, one of the best trainers in all of boxing. Has had some heavyweights. Andy Ruiz, first Mexican-American heavyweight to win the world title. Yeah. So he knows heavyweights, Manny Robles. Charles Gauche, mm -hmm. uh, Dominic Brazil, first, first spell. Ooh, ooh, that was a nice little right hand. Piraton moving back, changes with the right hand. And able to spar with the likes of Charles Martin, Richard Torres Jr., training in Southern California with the Robles family. Yeah, that's that's the cream of the crop when it comes to sparring Southern California. Prince Charles, come on. Less than a minute to go in the sixth and final round between Piraton and Sahota. Have another heavyweight battle coming up right after this. And Piraton pumping the body of Sahota. Just very consistent with the body work. I love to see that. That is a great facet for any boxer, especially the heavyweight division. I think someone lost their mouthpiece there. That was Sahota's mouth guard. Kind of unfortunate timing of events. There's only about 10 seconds left. I'm not sure what else either fighter is going to be able to do with the time left. So Hoda's pressed turbo at the end of some of the previous rounds. See what he does here. Good fight. Big and bright. Ladies and gentlemen, after six three-minute rounds, we go to our judges' scorecard for our decision. The judges score this contest 60-54, 59-55, and 60-54 with your winner by unanimous decision, Michael. Peraton!